Hi, Fanji Panjis. It's your girl, Angie Panji, back again, here to deliver you some very pertinent information. And I'm sure I clickbaited you. Hashtag jabated. I don't know what that means, jabated. I, I heard it, I swear I heard it somewhere. I've been looking at a lot of like, streamers lately. That's probably what it is. I don't, I don't really mess with Twitch TV. But I've been looking at a lot of streamers lately. And that's where I heard that. Jabated. It's kind of like another term that I'm not too sure what it means. Poggers, pog, pog moment. Well, you've been pog. Poggers moment, alright. Poggers. Um, today we're going to be discussing if Twice can pull off a mature concept. Let's discuss, shall we? Well, yeah, we shall, because that's the whole point of the freaking video. Um, anyways. So, recently, and by recently, I mean it's been like a couple months. I don't know. Time goes so fast in quarantine. That's why I'm failing all my classes. Is that a good excuse? I don't know. Either way, I'm letting down my family. Uh, I'm the disappointment, if you will. Someone had to take the role, so I decided to. Um, just kidding, but... Twice had a comeback with I Can't Stop Me a little while ago. I'll put the date of when that song came out on the screen. I even filmed a reaction to it with my family. I'll insert a clip of that. If you want to see the full thing, let me know in the comments down below. I will not release it. It's so pretty already! Okay, this is supposed to be one of their most beautiful wow. music videos thus far. I like the yeah, cinematography wise. Right, okay, wow. you gonna keep stopping it the whole time? Wow. Fine, I'll just let it play. I can talk about that a different time. I haven't listened to the full album, although I listened to that five minute highlight medley, which I was like, five minutes? This really is a full length album. Um, and honestly, it sounds good. Like, the few songs I have heard have sounded good. And twice recently at MoMA, they performed their new unreleased track, which wasn't even on the album they released. It's called Cry For Me. And I love it because I've seen, I didn't watch the full performance, but I've seen snippets on Instagram, and what I've seen is, um, main, the, the, the chorus, it's not sung by Mei-Yan or ji -hyo. I mean it kind of is, it's split apart, but the main part of the chorus is sung by jun Gyeon, but jun Gyeon is on hiatus right now because of her anxiety, so that's fantastic. We didn't get to see her perform with them. We didn't get to see her shine like she deserves. It's cool. It's, I'm not mad at it at all. No, I'm just kidding. Take all the time you need, girlfriend. Um, but it would have been lovely to see her there. You know, see her sing that song. I wonder if we're getting a music video, what it means. I don't know, but we are getting the single released by itself. Um, and then, anyways. <sighs> Can twice pull off a mature concept is the whole point of this video. I don't know. Um, but it would have been lovely to see her there, you know, see her sing that song. I wonder if we're getting a music video, what it means, I don't know, but we are getting the single released by itself. Um, and then, anyways. <sighs> Can twice pull off a mature concept is the whole point of this video. I don't know. Honestly, I, I mean, I could dive deep more into it, but more and more, was Twice's transition 
into slowly a more mature environment. And I feel like a lot of American fans, um, international fans, I could say, but I'll say more American fans because that's what I'm more familiar with as far as international fan base, seeing as I am American. Um, American fans seem to not really mess with more and more that much. Of course, Onces are going to love the songs regardless, but, you know, I'm a Once and I still just didn't mess with more and more at first. And I do like the song, but I don't love it. I would not say it's one of Twice's best at all. Um, then that was their, their their sort of transitional period into I can't stop. But we've been getting like glimpses at t Twice doing a mature concept for the longest time now. We got it at Twice Lights. We've gotten multiple concerts or special stages where they do like more sexy, more mature, more like mm, stuff. But nothing really uh, mature. And mature doesn't have to necessarily be something sultry, doesn't have to be, you know, I think someone who owns the sultry concept is Red Velvet, I think they pull it off flawlessly. And honestly, someone who owns the sexy concept, which could also be considered a mature concept, because obviously you don't want to have underage members doing a sexy concept, that's just asking to be jabated and to go into j -j jail okay? But the whole thing is... Sexy concept can be mature. I don't know why when everyone's thinking we want a mature concept, we were expecting something more sultry. Think of like Bad Boy by Red Velvet, you know, something like that. But it can be anything. It can be, um, let's say something like Cool by Wecky Mecky. Um, any, literally anything by EXID. You know, maybe not super duper sexy like Leisha. Because those girls really got it. But, you know, we want to see something more mature. But I guess everyone, when they say mature, they're expecting sultry, they're expecting seductive. And now that we've sort of gotten that with I Can't Stop Me, I can't help but feel disappointed. I, I know the song has 80s synth sound and a lot of other things like that. I don't know, the styling was good. Everything about the era was good and is good, but. I'm just not feeling it. I was expecting something like Breakthrough, which is their Japanese single. I'll insert a clip if I can. I'm probably gonna have to speed it up uh, because of copyright, so thanks a lot, YouTube. Um, yeah. So we were all expecting something like that, maybe, and I would have loved something like Breakthrough as as their, their mature concept. I think it would have been amazing to see something like that. It was very girl power, it was very strong, and it still had a few like, ooh la la, wah wah boom, va va bi moments. You know, that's my made up French accent. And I'm not feeling that with I Can't Stop Me. I Can't Stop Me left me feeling disappointed. Um, the American release, I don't know if they're gonna start selling it at Target, I don't know. There's so much to be found there. But, um, Risky, risky, wiggy, wiggy, this is an emergency. Help me, help me, somebody help me, because I know I can't stop me. Um, it's pretty good. It's catchy, there are moments that I like. And, and it definitely gets stuck in your head, but... Is it a great song? Is it the best that Twice can do? Frankly, I don't know. Um, I love Twice, but this comeback, and more and more, have just sort of fell flat for me. Better which was their Japanese comeback recently, that it was pretty good. And I liked Cry For Me, but I don't know, I'm not feeling like, wow, you know? And I think they should sort of channel back into their past. Not so cutesy like Candy Pop or Likey, or even Dance The Night Away. But something like Ooh Ah or Cheer Up, they had these dark elements, despite the songs being so bright and cheery, at least in the music video, conceptually, you see that. So I would like to see the perfect sort of mix incorporated into that. And frankly, we've been asking JYP, give, give twice a darker concept, give twice a mature concept, but maybe they're not good at it. Maybe JYP cannot flawlessly pull off a mature concept for twice. And I think that's okay. If Twice needs to stick to one thing, that's fine too. 
but as an artist you're going to want to explore a multitude of genres, you're going to want to explore different concepts. It's not always going to land well with fans and it's not always going to be what we as fans would expect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. And so I think we just have to be patient. I think maybe their next comeback, JYP will hit the nail on the head with that one, but until we see it, we don't know. So um, to answer the question, in the title, hopefully if I got the title right, can twice pull off a mature concept? I don't think so. Uh, is it banned? I'm not sure. I need to see more from them. I mean, I've seen it in concerts, but I've yet to see it fully acted out conceptually in an album, in a song, in a title track, in a side track. I've yet to see it fully executed perfectly something that fans will just absolutely say this is the perfect definition of a mature concept. We have to see it. And once they can demonstrate that to me, to you, to all of us, I don't know if twice is meant for mature concepts. Maybe they should stick to something else. It doesn't have to be cutesy, likey, me likey, me likey, likey, like I like likey. I love likey. But after a while, I do not. Uh, I love candy, candy, pop, pop, pop. But after a while, it sort of felt like you're dragging this, bro. You're dragging it. Um, dragging these butts across your chin. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, tell me what you think down below. Um, I'd love to know. I, you know, I felt like a bad once for feeling these things, but you don't always have to blindly love and like, ooh, praise everything that your faves do. I love Twice, and I'm always going to support Twice. But. I don't know if the mature concepts are working out from what I've seen so far. And it seemed like it switched because originally it was that Korean fans liked more and more and uh, international fans, aka American fans, uh, seemed to not really like more and more. And then I Can't Stop Me seemed to be adored by American fans and not really liked so much by Korean fans. And when I say like fans, I mean like the general audience was not really well receiving. Don't get me wrong, Twice got like all these big awards every time they promoted, but that doesn't really mean anything because they have a strong fan base, you know? Of course they're going to win on these music shows because they have a strong fan base. Um, just like if Blackpink did a flop of a song, they're still going to get awards because their fans are out there supporting them. Same with BTS. Like it's just, if you have a big fan base, you're still going to win. Regardless. Period. Alright. That's all I have to say for now. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And please like, subscribe.